What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Flying Dutchman Videos. Uh, this is the fourth video in my Metro Last Light playthrough. Uh, if you watched the previous videos, you'll know that we've uh, just prang <laughs> Pavel from the noose and we've made our escape. But, well, as everything in Metro game, uh, it's not going to go. Uh, it's not going to go smoothly. <laughs> to say the least. And we'll have to make, uh, make our way through uh, some of the darkest tunnels the Metro has to offer. And, uh, let's get going and I'll walk you guys through it. Uh, hopefully show you some things you haven't seen before in this, uh, this part of the game. And, uh, let's go. You can be D'Artagnan, huh? Alright, we're short on time. We go to theater from here, then you off the police. I wonder how communist in the metro, like, years after like the, the 2010s, got a copy of uh, the Three Musketeers. That's a good sign. Shit! Pip, come in! Andre! Pip here! Cut the light in that cut. There. Well, that meat. You, my own. That's just the first of our worries. We just have to see about that. Uh, throughout this tunnel, we'll have to contend with uh, mutated spiders, which like, actually look more like uh, crabs. <laughs> and they are very, very bullet resistant, which is uh, where the light comes in, as Pablo says. What we'll need to do is every time we get jumped by one of those uh, spider creatures, we'll have to uh, put the torch on him with the light. And uh, keep sh keep putting it on him, the shining until uh, basically the little critter falls on its back and exposes his uh, soft underbelly, which you can then uh, shoot. You can't you can't really shoot them uh, if they're just coming at you because the, uh, their carapace will just uh, resist basically. He's basically bulletproof. I've I've landed a couple hits that seem to like uh, chip some of it off, but on the uh, like. On the whole, they seem to be fairly uh, bullet resistant, if not bulletproof. Shit. All As you can see, the pile of human bones is uh, <laughs> not a good sign. They're close! Wait, Artyom, don't rush! Careful here. The uh, interesting part Let's about go. these tunnels is that there's some uh, deviations and, and side rooms where we can get some stuff. But when you do that, obviously, uh, you're not going to be watching for uh, <laughs> these spider creatures in that way. That's where they might one. get the jump on you. Okay. So if you're coming through here and uh, thinking, oh, there's a, there's a room with some. There's bound to be some stuff in there. There probably is, but uh, keep a watch out. Not that one of these can do yes. much harm, but still. Clear. Monsieur? Let's take this baby for a ride, huh? So, are we going? Where did it stop? Well, <laughs> take a wild guess. Breakers are out of wood. Shit. Come on. Blood. Just come through the tunnel full of giant spiders, and the first thing you this guy right suspects are the breakers, mess. right? It's a 
because you see when you put the uh, flashlight on them, they start to burn. They really, really don't like light, so at all times keep your flashlight charged and uh, keep it pointing where you're headed. If we run into one of these things, put your light on it till it flips belly up, you understand? The bastards hate the light more than anything. I just Come realized on, this, me. but I think this guy might be uh, uh, the same voice actor that played... Um, I forget his name, but uh, the major in, in the world in conflict. Uh, Colonel Olofsky's uh, nephew. He's like the... Uh, consummate communist and ends up uh, ends up doing more harm than good I forgot what his name was Lebedev or something Major Lebedev I, I forgot I think this is the same guy more or less has the same uh, voice more That's high. Despite the uh, the enemies in here, this uh, section is uh, fairly straightforward. You just have to know how to deal with the spiders. The, there's also a bit of uh, crowd management coming into this because uh, at some point you'll get swarmed by multiples, and you'll have to uh, keep them at bay by by switching uh, between your uh, between the spiders. Like if one comes too close, you'll have to focus on him for a bit to drive him back. And then, uh, as soon as one of them like, pops on its back, then you have to like switch back to that and uh, put some shots down range. Come help me pull this out. Same deal, just uh, put the flashlight on and they'll stagger back and you can basically shoot him off the bridge. Fuckers. Faster, 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 move it. Yeah. That's a really, really big one. If you see them uh, when you put the flashlight on, you'll see that uh, parts of their uh, carapace will start to glow and you know, get weak. And they'll actually lose part of it, I think. I think that guy just lost one of his segments. And we're nearly to uh, a temporary safety zone, so you're right, if you're uh, short on ammo, don't be afraid, because, well, well in fact, do be afraid, because <laughs> there's, an, uh, there's a like this? Uh, more of this uh, shortly after this uh, brighter okay, section. We're safe here. Wait a minute, Artyom, it's, it's bad without the light. Let me make a torch or something. All right, light up. All right, let's go. Stay close to Pavel in this uh, section. It'll be relatively safe. It's full of cobwebs, so uh, expect to get slowed down a bit. Keep close to me. You, 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 uh, you're the one that needs to uh, keep them off in this section because Pablo only has the, uh, the revolver. 
And this is one of the the rooms I talked about. No sidetrack, so you can get some resources, but that comes at the cost of uh, potentially getting attacked, as uh, happens here. And the big ones are uh, fairly tenacious. Like there's an electric lock. Okay, the wires go. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Oh, over there. Hey, look, D'Artagnan, you've got the light. If you follow the wires, there should be a fuse box somewhere. Used to power the gate, but the battery is surely dead now. When you find it, attach your charger to it. Then we'll try to open the door, okay? This will be easy in any other situation. <laughs> can't go through there, could that be too easy, then we'd be straight at the breakers, so we'll need to go through some fairly heavily infested uh, areas here. Some more stuff to be uh, found along the way. Do keep an eye out for these uh, notes. Just, uh, I just basically showed you guys another location, but I probably won't be uh, able to find every one of them. Seems they are uh, creating some kind of a uh, supernatural backstory. <laughs> Aliens in the metro! Oh no! Dun dun dun! I do apologize for that terrible humor. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it seems like some of them have like differently colored carap uh, carapaces, body shells, basically. It's a kind of neat, uh, neat touch in the design. And this is the part where you get swarmed by like three or four, and I couldn't ac effectively uh, manage them, so I got hurt a bit. Uh, if you're looking for the uh, for medkit, press Q and uh, or use some kind of uh, serrette to uh, patch himself up again. Seems like not every one of them has a tail. I didn't, I didn't even realize that. So before you proceed, go in here and there's some stuff to be found here as well. So you can actually Maybe a good idea would be if you're uh, getting into the fight with those uh, creatures, uh, just to hop in here and put on the, uh, the light to make yourself uh, a safe zone. And you go to the wreck. Just be sure that your uh, your flashlight is fully charged. And we're actually uh, really, really close to the uh, <laughs> to the uh, breaker room. You can't shoot the eggs, so uh, foolish to waste any ammo trying to do so. Well, you can shoot the eggs, but like it's not going to do any damage. That's what I was trying to say. Some more stuff. And the breaker is actually in here, just. Uh, Attach the uh, the hand crank generator. Nothing will actually happen while you're in here. So you can actually just uh, when the power comes on, the door will open, or at least you can use the door. And you'll be almost back uh, where you started. Just a short hop. So that's how ticket to the uh, the surface, and also means uh, for now the uh, end of our little track to the uh, to the Russian uh, the Russian uh, to the Moscow metro. 
We're almost at the theater now. Um, the as uh, Archon says, we're really close to the uh, theater station. However, it's a short hop the through the. Uh, we'll have to cover it on the surface. Over the surface, I should and say. And there, every step you take could well be your last. Chubak, we are here. Pull yourself together. We don't have long before nightfall. Okay? But in true metro fashion, uh, once we get to the okay. theater station, now you'll collapse, see uh, things get far more complicated than they are now. It's not just uh, trying to find the dark one, but I'll leave that up in the air for now, and you can uh, enjoy those plot twists yourself uh, when we get to it. Opa, we're in luck, Artyomich. This place seems lived in. Rangers, probably. I don't know. And when there are rangers. Short on fielders. We'll have to make do. Now come on, take what you need. We're all brothers in the metro. And for now, this has been the uh, fourth part on the uh, Flying Dutchman uh, brother. I w Again, I wanted to say Bioshock Infinite. This is <laughs> Metro Last Light playthrough. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys will return for uh, video number five. And until then, I hope to see you guys later. You know, I've heard of things roaming around that even bullets can stop. You have been through some bad shit, I know, but not like what's coming.